In Pakistan, a high drama unfolded between the military and the police officials in the Punjab province. The incident had shocked the world and took place in Bahawal Nagar, which is some 400 kilometers from Lahore. The skirmish garnered widespread attention after a string of video clips showing army officers assaulting police officials surfaced online. According to reports, the clash took place after the police went to recover an illegal weapon from the relative of a soldier. But when they were at the accused, accused residence, the police were taken in hostage by the family. Soon, another police team reached at their residence and got the police officials freed. Now, they also alleged they allegedly tortured and arrested the accused along with his father and brother, who is serving in the army. According to reports, the police personnel also ransacked the house. Since then, Pakistan Tehrike Insaf, the PTI, has demanded a transparent and comprehensive inquiry into the incident. The PTI spokesperson said the investigation should be carried out without any delay to identify the culprits instead of providing cover to the perpetrators. The spokesperson also urged for the report to be made public without any kind of editing. Furthermore, in a strongly worded reaction to the condemnable and brazen incident, the PTI spokesperson said that the tragic incident reflects a problem that has penetrated deep into the societal fabric, which is also gravely impacting the functioning of the state. Now, on Friday, the Punjab government and Pakistan and the Pakistan army have pledged transparent investigations into a face-off. And as of now, according to the reports, four personnel of Madrasa police including the station house officer, the SHO, has been, have been booked and arrested on charges of keeping a man and his two sons, including an army official, in illegal detention, dereliction of duty and misuse of authority. While a case has been registered against 23 family members of the accused by the police under various sections of the Pakistan Penal Court. <laughs> Sir,